I recently found a math puzzle online, which is to take all the digits from 1 to 9, and using each digit once, construct a 9-digit number, so that the first digit is divisible by 1, the first 2 as a 2-digit number are divisible by 2, the first 3 as a 3-digit number are divisible by 3, and so on and so forth. And the solution that I saw presented for it involved all sorts of bizarre math things and things that most people, I'm sure, don't really want to get into. So I figured I would show off a really easy way to solve this problem. So to start with, for the sake of convenience, let's call our resulting number A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So A represents the first digit, B represents the second digit, and so on. So what do we know? We know that if the 2, 4, 6, and 8 digit numbers are going to be divisible by 2, then B, D, F, and H must be even. We know that if the first 5 are divisible by 5, and we don't have a 0 available, E must be 5. And we know that any 3 digit number, the digits themselves add up to 3. Sorry, any number divisible by 3, rather. The 3 digits themselves add up to 3. So A plus B plus C, D plus E plus F, and G plus H plus I are all divisible by 3. I can jump to D plus E plus F being so because once we know that A plus B plus C are, A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F also has to be. And F already has to be even, so it follows that we just need D plus E plus F to be divisible by 3. So those are the easy conditions. Here's a couple that are less obvious. If the four digit number is divisible by 4, that means we need A, B, C, D to be divisible by 4. Which really means a thousand times A plus a hundred times B plus ten times C plus D is divisible by four. Well, since a hundred times anything is already divisible by four, and since a thousand is just a hundred times ten, what that really means is we need C D to be divisible by four. And similarly, since a thousand times anything is divisible by eight, we only need FGH to be divisible by eight. So those are the conditions that we need to satisfy. So let's start off with CD. Has to be a two digit number that's divisible by four, and it has to go odd even. And it cannot use a five. Well, the two-digit numbers that satisfy those requirements are 12, 16, 32, 36, 72, 76, 92, and 96. So there, we've already gotten a whole bunch of stuff limited down. So now let's look at DEF. We know that it has to go even, and then a 5, and then an even number, and that D is either a 2 or a 6. And it has to be three digits that add up to a number divisible by 3. Well, the only numbers that satisfy those are 258 and 654. So let's move on now to FGH, which you know has to be an even number, then an odd number, then an even number has to be divisible by 8, and H is a 4 or an 8. So let's break out our trusty calculator here. Start off at 400, and start adding 8. Oh, there's one. So 416 is valid. 432. 472, 496, and we have to jump ahead to 800 now, so we'll do the same thing again, plus 8 a bunch of times, so there's 816. We're going to end up with the same numbers, 
only starting with 8. So we'll get 816, 832, 872, and 896. Well, the problem with that is that if we have an 8 over here as f, the 2 is already used. So it can't be 832 or 872 for fgh, because the 2 doesn't work. It's not valid. And if we have a 4 in f, the 6 is already used. So it can't be 416, and it can't be 496. So now we have two possible values for def, and for each of those we have two possible values for fgh. So we can write down what we can do for def gh combined. And let's label them. A will make 65432. S will make 65472. D will make 25816. And F will make 25896. So that's D, E, F, G, H, all satisfied already. Now if you notice, we have 642 and 286 here as the only two possible combinations for DFH, which means the even numbers either go 8642 or 4286. This is useful information, because when we now look at AB, which has to go odd even, we know that B, the even number, has to be an 8 or a 4. Only things that can possibly be. and we can't use a 5. So the only possible numbers now are 18, 38, 78, 98, 14, 34, 74, 94. We no longer need the calculator, so we can close that up. Well, why don't we look at C as well? So we have ABC, odd even odd, obviously, Digits have to add up to 3, we can't use 5. Let's label these ones too. So Q, we have 183. W, we have 189. E, 381. R, 387. T, 783. Y, 789. U, 981. I, 987, O. Well, we're at 1, 4 now. And the neat thing about the ones with a 4 is they're very limited. For 1, 4, the only one we can have is a 7. 3, 4, the only one that works is 5, which we can't use. And 9, 4 also only works with 5, which we can't use. So we're left with P, 741. So now we have four possible values for DEFGH, ten possible values for ABC, but not all of them are going to go together. For instance, we can't use Q and A together because the three here is already used, and the three is already used over here as well. So if we go through and look at the combinations that do work, Q can only go with S, because the 8's used as well. W189, well that can be A or S. E381, well there's the 3 and there's the 8, so that can go with S as well. R387, well they all have 387. T783, that's the same thing. Y789, well we can put that with A. And just to save time from actually enumerating all of these, we're going to be having UA, US, IA, OF, and PF left over. So we now have 10 possible values, and we have one condition that hasn't been met yet, which is divisible by 7 for the first 7 digits. All we have to do now is just run through each of the combinations, divide the first seven digits by seven, see which one works. 
and after a bit of trial and error, the one that works is ES. So the number that matches all the criteria is 381-654-729. And that's all there is to this, the whole thing, done without any complex math in 10 minutes. Have a good day.